Hi, my name is Don, KE6VXT. Today I'm going to show you how to hook up a simple web server to your broadband hamnet. The uh, item that I'm using is a network USB storage link. And uh, here's the actual device. Uh, there's uh, four USB ports on the back, as well as a Cat5 connection and a, a power uh, connection. And then on the front that you have the four status lights to tell you whether you have um, a uh, USB thumb drive or a uh, hard drive uh, associated with uh, slots one through four and whether you have power and whether you have a LAN connection and then there's a button to uh, help you eject the unit. In the box you're also going to find a Cat5 cable, a power supply, and a user's manual. Just connect the uh, Cat5 cable to one of the LAN ports on your node and uh, to the device and connect, connect the power and put a thumb drive into slot one when you're ready to do the configuration. Go to the setup button on the node that you attach the device to. Then click on the port forwarding tab. And you can see I've already set up the device. I'm advertising both port 80, which is the web page, and port 1010, which is the uh, configuration for the uh, network USB storage unit. Now let's take a look and see how the website and Zergo names are advertised. We're going to go to the node status. And from node status, we're going to notice that we have two items. Uh, one is for the device configuration, and the second one is for the actual website. If you go to the device configuration, we're going to uh, notice the uh, the configuration screen that comes up that's built into the device. Um, there's uh, a lot of configuration information in here. You can set the IP address to a static IP address if you wish. Um, but when you're first setting it up, you probably want to uh, have it set up for DHCP. Just uh, take a look at some of these configuration screens. You notice in addition to uh, a web server uh, on this device, we also have a file server, a BitTorrent service, server a iTunes server and a media server now uh, on the web server page we've uh, put a check mark in the box to enable the web server we've advertised it as port 80 and we uh, clicked on the open to browse down to the directory on the thumb drive where our index.html file is it's very important that it's, that it's index.html and not index.htm or default.htm the uh, Tools button allows us to eject the USB device before pulling it out. Just like on a computer, you don't just pull the device out, you, uh, uh, you eject it first. And there's also a shutdown button for shutting down the device instead of just removing power from it. But remember, we advertise both port 1010 and port 80. So let's go back to the setup screen and go to mesh status and this time we're going to click on website which is going to go to port 80 the other one went to port 1010 and here's my simple web page I'm basically telling about my node and giving some contact information well that's about it that's all it takes to put a website on your mesh node please comment on my YouTube video to let me know how you use your website on your hamnet until next time, happy meshing.